Hey guys, what's happening? Today we're going to talk a little bit about a way to make up for something that the Arduino is kind of lacking. And that's everything from the Nano to the Uno to the Mega. They are all lacking a digital to analog converter. Now, I'm sure you already know about the analog to digital converters over here from your A2 or A0 to A5 ports that allow us to put an analog value in such as voltage and convert it to a digital value. But what if you want to turn that around? Well, there's really no way to do it on the Arduino natively. Now there are some boards like this feather from Adafruit that has a uh, digital to analog converter on one of the pins. But what if we want to output some sound files or some waveforms? How can we do that? Well, the way we can do it is be cre by creating a digital to analog converter in the form of what's called an R2R ladder. So let's take a look at that. An R2R ladder is simply a resistor divider network, and the reason it's called R2R, I'm going to show you here as I draw this, pardon my crappy uh, resistor drawings, the value of these resistors here in the center is R, and <clears throat> the value of these resistors where we'll be connecting is R2. So that's why it's called an R2R. So what we end up do <clears throat> doing is we put our digital values here on this point and here at this point we can read out an analog value this ends up being a multi-stage uh, voltage divider basically and I've got one put together here for us to take a quick quick look at let's zoom out a little Now, the values I'm using in this um, R2R ladder are 47K for this part and 22K for this part. Now, I know it's not exactly 2X, but it works just fine. And it's the closest values in this uh, decade of resistors that I could find. So to set up your resistor ladder, your R2R ladder, this is an 8-bit. You see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 inputs. And we are connecting from port D, which are these 8 digital pins here on the Arduino. We connect them up to the 47K resistors. And then we have our 22K resistors acting as the divider in between them. Now, if you want to get into all the math of this, and I really don't, um, it basically kind of goes like this. So we have our eight inputs. Wow. This one, the voltage is equal to uh, V7 divided by 2. This one is equal to V6 divided by 4, V5 divided by 8, and so on and so on and so on. And you add these up and you get your total voltage out. Now, the way we are addressing our R2R ladder is by using the port D command 
the Arduino, or actually the, uh, the Atmega AT328P provides us with three uh, ports. We have two 8-bit ports and a 6-bit port. We're using port D right here, which is an 8-bit port. Now, I didn't write the code we're going to use, but let's go take a quick look at it anyway. All right, here's the code that we're using for this um, little example here. And it was written by Amanda Gasei or whatever. You can see what it's doing is it is setting up those pins as digital outputs. And then we are using the port D command, which writes to all of those pins at one time to create a sine wave. That's really all the code there is. Pretty simple. All right, what we're looking at here is a square wave output from the Arduino. And basically, this is the only thing you can get from the Arduino by using the digital write command. You can either turn it, the, uh, the pulse on or you can turn the pulse off. But by using this resistor to resistor ladder and creating ourselves a digital to analog converter, we can in fact get an analog output and in this case it's going to be a sine wave. So let me hook up the Arduino and let's take a look at that. All right, here's our sine wave from the Arduino. We're using that port D command with our resistor to resistor ladder. So if we measure our voltage, you can see we are outputting about 4.85 volts. And if we measure the frequency, we are getting about 45 hertz. Now, one thing that you will notice is that this is what's called DC biased. You know, here is our zero line right here. So this entire sine wave is positive voltage, which is all the Arduino can do. It can't give you negative voltage. But there is a way around that, and let's go take a quick look at that. Okay, so you're looking at the waveform again, and you can see that it is still DC biased. But what we can do here to make it oscillate about the zero voltage level, which is particularly useful when we want an audio waveform, is to take a capacitor and put it into the output stage and then connect up here on the other side of the output stage. And what we are seeing now is that we are oscillating about the zero voltage. So if we measure here, you can see we're getting about 2.5 volts positive. And whoops, measure here, you can see we're getting about 2.32 volts to the negative. So folks, this is a basic demonstration of digital to analog conversion. And we're going to use this in the future to do lots of neat things. So if you liked it, give me the big old thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.